Hello friends, today I am going to discuss about how to use Navigate GUID by using Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. So at here first, let's click this link. So at here this is Navigate.com. Now here you can get the all detail about to Navigate. So add your data model. Now here after let's scroll down. So here let's go to product. Now here you can find Navigate Premier 12. So this is free trial or you can buy. And here after this is available for MySQL host screen and MongoDB, MariaDB and here Navigate 12 for SQL Server. So at here I am going to show you in this video about to Navigate 12 for Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. So you can use this two button first is free trial or you can use buy now. So at here I am going to use free trial. So click on add here free trial button. Now here Navigate for SQL downloading trial. Now here if you scroll down here you can find all different options Navigate for SQL Server 12.1 and here this is 32 bit operating system and here you can use 34 bit operating system sorry 64 bit operating system here direct download direct so whatever option you can select from here so i'm going to select download with support 64 bit now here after you need to fill this all form so add here name email company job role and here after so which what do you want so here you can just click on this checkbox after that you can easily download okay so here okay or just select this checkbox and you have to or click on download after that the software automatically downloaded now here after this software that I already downloaded navigate for Microsoft SQL Server so right here this is so this is the software add here navigate to an SQL Server exe bank now here after I'm going to show you the installation steps so add here double click on this link now here after this is the premium soft navigate to help for SQL Server now here after click on next button and here after accept agreement click on next so at this location where navigate for 12 port SQL Server is now going to install so click on next and here this is premium no need to change here desktop and here click on install so it's uh, extracting the files so it will take only few seconds so at here completing the premium sort navigate 12 for SQL server setup wizard now here after click on finish button and here you can see the icon it's uh, created and you have to double click on this navigate 12 for SQL server icon now here after so this is the expiry date 13 11 2019 so this you get for 14 days trial person so i'm going to use trial and here after so you can also try this editor so at here it's a navigate so this is for updater going to close no need to do the operation now here after here you can get this all tabs here views tables new query and here you can create the report model and 
here you can add the users now first we need to do the connection so let's click on connection and here after go to SQL server so add your connection name so what we need to kill so for this that I already have a SSMS so I'm going to do the disconnect here after and here server name so you need to copy this one and here after paste so add your connection name so you need to give any meaningful connection name like uh, ms con now host so you need to paste the server name and your initial database so here it's a by default it's a selected master if you want here you can check the database so login with sa account give the password and here after click on database and here the name is set now here after let's give add here our database name z and here you can do the authentication SQL Server Authentication or Windows Authentication so going to select add your SQL Server Authentication give the username and here give the password and when that done all correct so add here click on test connection so here connection successful now here after click on ok so add here there is a MSCon it's a created now double click here you can see Z database because I selected the Z. Now double click here you can get DBO or guest. Double click on DBO here you can get the list of tables. So only one table has. So add here this is the tables inside Z database. Now here you can see all the records and your very best feature about this editor you can easily do the sorting. So add here, click on plus, here after whatever you want column, here you can give. So anyone, you can select at this place. So suppose if I selected department ID, so department ID should be in ascending order. So how do we check? Just check this is the null 10, 20, it's all in ascending order. Now here after you can do the filtering option click on plus so here you can use equal to so here you can give any kind of value after that you can easily to the filter so this is the best feature on this tab navigate for SQL server after you can go function here you can create the function two option we have function or procedure you can select anyone here after you can click on the plus here you can get the name type all those things after that you can easily create the function so like this for user here login and your database user you can easily provide the grant for the user what kind of role they can use now here after this is view if you want to create new view here or uh, click on and you have to give the definition this is encrypted schema SQL server and here you can use all the labels if I double click on the case so right here by default query it's come here so this editor is uh, beautiful and good for new learners because so uh, if you they don't know about the case you can uh, just double click if you want to use insert here or this is the syntax of the insert statement like this while loop here this is the while loop syntax and here you can use comment and here email operation and here flowchart so here this is if as a statement now all tables and here after if you go on table you can create the tables very easily here you can provide index foreign key and here so many features available if you want to do the delete field primary key you can easily do this 
so you should also try this editor so this is one beautiful editor for microsoft sql server so it's only available for 14 days after that you can uh, buy this editor okay so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you